just kind of switching gears here a little bit. Um, Got to split some wood. My ma, uh, my ma's alone. My dad passed away a couple months ago, and uh, I had to take down a big locust tree. So I'm here splitting it up. And this was when I was a kid. I can remember this as a little stick in the ground. And my dad planted that, and I thought it was kind of neat that if I had a chance, and I knew I was able to do it without adding too much weight, I could split this and use it for a control stick for the legal eagle. Locust is a really pretty wood when it's finished. It's extremely dense. It happens to be a little heavy, but I took a chainsaw and I rip cut it, okay? I mean, number one, so the splitter would be able to at least split it, but uh, if you look at the grain, see how straight that is? You don't want to use anything with a, a knot in it. One way to identify wood that's straight, if you ever wanted to make your own stick, is to look at the grain pattern. When the you can see on a bark, bark grows very straight. Now, I make archery bows just for fun, long bows, recurves, all that stuff. And you get pretty good at picking out wood. And a lot of that has to do with the bark. You can tell on a tree when when it gets a little goofy that it's a very bad piece. Here's, a, here's an example. You can see how the grain structure really starts to change. It starts to get modeled up, it starts to twist. A lot of that has to do with where it's grown. If a tree is in the wind, um, they tend to turn. Trees turn and they get strong on one side. Uh, the best example, and, and I, boy, I split so much of this, but if I show you a piece of wood like here, okay, the center of the tree is not the center of the log. And that has a lot to do with the conditions that surround it. And if it has a limb, a real big limb, and it's growing over, say, a 20, 30 year period, and it's, the tree is starting to lean, a tree will naturally start to thicken up on one side. That's kind of a neat thing about nature. Regardless, I'm going to split this and follow the grain on the splitter. I'm going to give myself plenty of room, okay? So I know that if I follow that grain, when I spin that in a wood lathe, it, it'll be at its strongest point because the grain is contiguous between this end and this end. No different than a spar on an airplane, okay? Now this is just a thought. I may not use this, but I thought it was a good opportunity to uh, use a piece of wood from a tree that when I was a kid I used to play on.